Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, I'm gonna go over uh, encryption methods for, um, cause we're gonna eventually be making a uh, ransomware program. And I'm gonna kinda go over the fundamentals on how encryption and encryption keys work. Uh, there are a lot of libraries that you can download with Python that kinda handle this all uh, in just a couple lines of code so you don't have to worry ab about um, doing all like the low level stuff to get it to work. But if you really want to understand what it's doing and how it's working, I find it best to uh, kind of program it yourself. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going to be eventually making a tutorial on how to write uh, a ransomware program, and we're going to do it implementing our own encryption method. And then we'll also do it using the, um, the AES library, which is like a, uh, I think it's called PyCrypt. I forget what it's called, but you can use um, uh, encryption algorithms that are part of a third-party library to, to help you out. Um, but in this video, I'm kind of going to show you how encryption even works, or at least the, how the fundamentals of it work. Um, so let's say we grab a file on our computer, and every file, no matter if it's a text file, if it's a video file, if it's a spreadsheet, a PowerPoint, at the end of the day, all a file is is a bunch of bytes. It's a bunch of 8-bit numbers. Um, so it kind of looks like this if you were to open one up. It's going to be, um, just say we're opening a video file, and for the... I know most files are bigger than this, but just to make it easy to understand, we're going to say this file is uh, three bytes long. So it's just got some, I don't know, we'll throw some random three byte uh, numbers up here. So we have like 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. And then we have like 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0. And then 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So we have three bytes. Um, and if, uh, if we open just any arbitrary file, these are the three bytes in it. And say we want to encrypt it. Well, you've probably heard that we need to encrypt it with a key. Uh, so what is that? So a key is something, um, just think of it as a password. It can be a string, uh, it's typically what it is, but just some random, random characters that we're going to turn to a key. And what the key is, at the end of the day, is also just a bunch of 8-bit numbers. Uh, so let's say we have a password and or a key and if we get the binary representation of that key let's actually do this if uh, let's say our key is ABC um, let me look up something real quick um, so I'm looking up here the uh, let's say our key is capital ABC so we'll write that here this is going to be our encryption key. And you would say this is also a 24-bit encryption key because each character is 8-bit. So 8, 16, uh, and 24. So this is a 24-bit encryption key that we're applying to this file that we just opened. Um, so the letter A, the key, or sorry, the binary representation of capital A is 0, 1, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And then for B, it's going to be, it's just one up from that. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. And then C is just one up from that. So 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 0. All right, so now we have our data. So this is our data. This is our key that we're going to use to encrypt that data. So how do we do that? So you may have heard of uh, logic gates before. If you haven't, I'll just kind of quickly explain what they are. So a gate, um, we'll go over a, an AND gate, for ex ex example. Um, so an AND gate, it takes two inputs, and it produces an output. output. So you can think it's, it's going to take two bits and then produce a bit based off those two bits. So an AND gate, it'll grab this zero right here from our data and the zero from the key. And an AND gate says if both of them equal the same thing, produce a one as the output. Um, and if they're not the same, uh, produce uh, a zero. Um, but with en encryption, you use what's called an XOR gate, which stands for exclusive OR. And a, an XOR, it's also called an XOR gate. So an XOR gate is kind of the, the building block of all encryption algorithms. Um, you have to understand that to kind of understand how they work, but uh, the basic building block of all encryption algorithms is, is the XOR gate. So what that means is, hey, 
generate a one if both of the bits are different, but if they're the same, produce a zero. So what we can do now that we have this data and this key, the next thing we're gonna do is make our cipher, which is our encrypted data, which will be this line down here. And we're just gonna XOR both these bits. So if we XOR zero and zero, well, they're both the same, so that makes a zero. And then if we X, if we do the same thing for each one of these, we end up getting zero. And then right here on the third bit, one and zero, well, those are different, so let's make a one. And then we'll just follow that same pattern throughout, throughout this whole thing. So uh, zero, zero is zero, one and zero is one, one and zero is one, one and zero is one, and then one and one is zero. Now let's do it for the second byte. So we got one and zero is one, zero and one is one, zero and zero is zero, one and zero is one, one and zero is one, one and zero is one, zero and one is as a one, and zero and zero is zero. All right, for the third byte, we got one and zero is one, zero one is one, one and zero is one, zero and zero is zero, one and zero is one, zero and one is one, one and zero is one, and zero zero is zero. So now that we have our data, and we've applied this key to it to encrypt it, our ciphertext, our encrypted data, is now gonna look like this, which looks nothing like uh, the original data. So if you were, if say this was a text file, I don't know what these characters are, but say it was like, I'm just, I, I don't know what these, the actual ASCII values of these are, but say this is like R-A-T, like it spells rat. It doesn't spell rat, but I'm just saying, if, uh, just pretend that's what these characters are. And it might, it might come out, once we apply the key to it, looking something like a bracket, an exclamation mark, and then like a T. Or that wouldn't be a T because that was already a T, like a, an X or something. It's going to come out looking completely different. So it's pretty much unusable data. Let me go ahead and erase because that looks ugly. I'm going to erase, erase this. The whole point is since we did that XOR operation between the data and the key, we ended up getting completely different data at the end called our ciphertext. But what's cool about a key is if we apply the key back to this again, so if we do an XOR operation between the key and the cipher, we get our data again. So let's do that. Let's write data down here because we're going to apply the key to the cipher. And what do we get? Well, 0 and 0 is uh, 0. 1 and 0 is 1. Uh, 0 and 1 is 1. 0 and 0 is 0, 0 and 1 is 1, and following along we just get 1, 1, 1, 0 and 1 is 1, 1 and 1 is 0, and then following all along we get 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, and then following along on the third byte we get uh, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Uh, so yeah, so we have our data. We XOR our key to it and get the encrypted ciphertext right here. And then if we apply the key back to it, we get our data again. So that is essentially how uh, the basic fundamental of encryption works. But you can get real crazy with it. And on top of all this stuff, once you apply the key to it, we can also write some type of algorithm that shuffles all the bytes around in the file and then reapplies the key to that so it makes it even more jumbled up and then shift all the bytes around again reapply the key to it and it keeps jumbling and encrypting and jumbling and encrypting all all the uh all the data up in the file and that's essentially what aes does which is kind of the industry standard for encryption um but i think it's kind of fun to um write your own encryption algorithm which is what we're going to do in uh one of the future tutorials um, but then I'll also we'll use AES because um, there's a there's a really cool Python library that lets you do that pretty easily. Um, but yeah, I hope this makes sense. Uh, if it doesn't or you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will see you guys in the next video.